Parents and children, listen up. Our next guest is the recipient of one of the most prestigious scholarships in the world, and we are about to find out how he did it. Rory Hills has earned a Rhodes Scholarship, and he joins me now from Victoria, B.C. Rory, uh, first off, uh, congratulations to you. Uh, let's jump right in. According to the Rhodes Trust, Rhodes Scholars are people who have a vision of how the world could be better and the energy to make a difference. That is a tall order, but you've already done it. Tell me about the drug checking program that you helped create. So I was, uh, I was really fortunate to get to be part of it. I came to adulthood um, seeing statistics that were just tragic about the impact that the overdose crisis had on my province and getting to hear individual stories from people that, that broke my heart. So we uh, used a number of different analytical techniques uh, to determine the composition of drugs and then we provide that information to people so they, they can make safer choices. We also facilitate a conversation um, you know, to talk about safer use strategies and, and I think it's part of a toolkit. I think there's a lot more that needs to be done. Uh, but it's it's really powerful to be part of something. Uh, a lot of people hear about uh, the Rhodes Scholarship. They know that it exists. Um, give us a little bit of clarification. I know that the scholarship covers two years of studying at Oxford University in England. Um, what else can you tell us about what it entails? What will you be studying there? Um, just give us a, a little more about what the Rhodes Scholarship is. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping to study a three-year program, a DPhil, a doctorate in biochemistry. Um, and it basically provides, like you said, financial support, kind of allows me to, to attend a program that otherwise I think might have been out of reach, uh, but also a really incredible support network of, of people that are like-minded and, like you said, kind of have a, a vision that they want to uh, bring to bring to the fold, yeah. Uh, well, after Oxford, do you have a plan? Do you see uh, what's in your future for yourself? I think in broad terms, yes. Uh, I want to continue doing research that I feel will help people. Um, I think that that might take place in an academic setting or maybe an in industry one, but as long as I'm doing things that are, you know, questions that are difficult but have meaningful answers, I'll be happy. Uh, Rory, any advice for the kids that are watching at home or saying to themselves, I want to do what that guy did. I want to be a Rhodes Scholar. I'm, I'm almost a little hesitant because I feel like there's maybe 100 things I did and 10 of them were probably completely wrong but were made up for by the other 90. If I had to give something though, I'd say, um, don't aim for a scholarship like this. There's a lot of people that were um, brilliant and hardworking and, and didn't make it. What I'd say is instead, find the fundamental goals, the things that motivate you and drive you. And if you can aim towards those, um, you'll be happy no matter what. That is great advice, Rory. I'm sure your friends and family are very proud of you. We know that you're going to make a world of difference in your chosen field. And if I can give you just one piece of advice, uh, if you Please spend God. three years in the UK, if you come back and start saying things like ring me on my mobile, your friends are going to hate <laughs> you a little bit. So just just be a little careful with, the, with that, all right? I appreciate that advice, Ben. No problem, Rory. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. Thank you.